We've all heard a thing or two about renewable energy. But honestly, will renewables ever outpace fossil fuels? To find out, I hit the road looking for clues to America's renewable energy future. And one thing's for sure, it's happening. How about you come on a road trip with me to explore some renewable energy? What? We're on the site of the world's largest solar thermal facility. Hydrohelio. That sounds good. Be it's careful, he's a high voltage, oh. yeah? <laughs> the solar industry in the U.S. employs more people than Google, Apple, Facebook, and Twitter combined. Wow! What if we could create a hydropower turbine that uses the same concepts that we use in sailing? Renewables were thriving in unlikely places. America is changing the way it uses energy. We're the second city in the country to go 100% green, and the tax rate's staying the same. And so I'm spending money like a Democrat, okay? <laughs> Give it to me straight, Doc. The amount of energy you're going in, only 80% of it comes out. And yeah. then you're just dumping carbon monoxide into the garage. Oh, that's nice. This clean energy facility will put more people to work than the steel plant that once sat here that actually polluted the community. I realized, what's the point of having solar if you've got like super crappy light bulbs? Companies are demanding the need for renewables. They want to be green. Walmart, Google, Apple, Crayola, Johnson & Johnson, all of these companies have moved to 100% renewable energy. Unfortunately, there are some old and powerful interests standing in the way. Folks here in our valley are fuming over the latest change in the solar rates. I don't know whether this is cowardice or convenience, but frankly, it's not leadership. Is this your full fleet? This is every okay. single truck we have, and the reason that they're all here on a Wednesday at 3 p.m. is that everything has completely shut down. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh. I'm a conservative. I'm appalled that fellow conservatives are hypocrites when it comes to free market principles. Change just doesn't happen. You got to work at it. Let's go see a governor about a signature. This is a 180 degree shift. We have more sunshine in Nevada than they have heat and hell. And it's a sin if we don't do something with it.